Dr. Bernadette Schumann is the principal investigator of a trial that compares the safety and efficacy of a newly developed nasal continuous positive airway pressure CPAP compressor for the treatment of patients with obstructive sleep apnea. The sponsor has asked Dr. Schumann to recruit six participants with diagnosed obstructive sleep apnea for the trial. After an evaluation, each patient will be supplied with a new CPAP compressor on a temporary loan basis for the duration of the trial. The participants will then be assessed for any improvements in their snoring symptoms and improvements in quality of life. Mr. Gerard Brooker, who was not enrolled in the trial, has been a patient of Dr. Schumann's for several years and also has obstructive sleep apnea. When first diagnosed, he was told by Dr. Schumann that he would have to purchase his own nasal CPAP compressor to treat the symptoms, as the hospital did not supply them to patients free of charge. Mr. Brooker subsequently discovers that Dr. Schumann has supplied a friend he first met at the clinic with a new machine for the treatment of his sleep apnea problems and becomes very annoyed. Mr. Brooker writes a letter of complaint to the hospital chief executive and to the local newspaper, complaining that Dr. Schumann was showing favoritism to some patients by supplying them with a CPAP compressor for free. The chief executive at the hospital passes a copy of the letter to Dr. Schumann, who in turn reports the matter to her EC in her continuing progress report. Dr. Schumann has received a complaint from a patient, Mr. Brooker, for showing favoritism to a trial participant by supplying equipment free of charge while the complainant, Mr. Brooker, who was a regular patient, had to pay for the same device. Dr. Schumann reports the incident in the Continuing Progress EC report. The EC chair ignores the reported event during the expedited review process since it has nothing to do with the research ethics. However, the EC chair still believes it is appropriate to include such less important events in the continuing progress report since it has been circulated in the media and there may be further noise in the future. Note, institutions should develop a procedure to handle complaints from trial participants by including the name and contact details of a participant advocate, independent of the trial site in the written informed consent form.